Hello, welcome to my 3D Amusement channel. Um, this is the next part of sci-fi prop video series. This is the texturing part. Um, in this video tutorial, we're going to discuss how I created the diffuse pass for my grenade uh, geo. Um, let's get started. Uh, so I open Mari. This is, I just imported um, um, the geo from uh, Maya as an OBJ. So I imported it. It has five items, I believe, yeah. It has five items, and I also showed how to UV it in such a way that you know it's uh, laid out uh, really good. And there's a big space because it's a glass uh, geo. I don't want it in Mari because I'm going to do uh, the shading pass in Maya itself. Um, so this is what I have. So I'm just gonna also show you how I come up with my color schemes for my grand geos. Um, the the only the uh, there are some ways I do it. So first I collect a reference. Um, that helps a lot and other is you could get inspiration from here yeah, um, there is something called uh, tumblr uh, you could go to tumblr uh, this is the guy I follow so he update is um, tumblr putting on a lot of sci-fi uh, geo you could also look for um, sci-fi things here So you can see you could come up with a lot of things so this is also be a good color scheme you can see there's gray there's orange so when you put it in your uh, texturing pass it's gonna go well because they put a lot of thoughts into it the other way i do it here is i type motorcycles uh, motorcycles have a lot of color variations in it uh, you could see uh, there's red and black and there's like a uh, like a neon and black you could see like everything has some purpose to it and the color is really pleasing so that's how i come up with my um art station is the other way to get inspired you could see a lot of uh, see for example you know somebody did this so white yellow and light gray and there is some red tone to it so this works pretty good like you could take this palette and you could create your own color scheme um the other great great way to uh, you could say cars google so there you go so you could see even if you take this one there's yellow in there and there is black in there and there is like a light metal in there so you could see there's like a lot of um, color variations and you could see all those colors are 80 20 so one color is 80 percent another color is 20 person um i learned it from one of the concept artists i don't know who is it but you could see everything you take it's 80 20 rule so you could see 80 percent of is the base color and 20 percent is black it's pretty amazing once i you know heard about it then i started noticing it so you will start noticing it too uh, so that's how i come up with color schemes but the first color scheme i come up with is through uh, my reference i'm just going to pull it here so this is the reference um, i uh, grabbed it for my modeling too so i literally took this reference and i created um, colors based on it there's light green there's the base color right here this is 80 percent and the rest are like 20 percent and there's a little bit of orange strip it's just not exactly orange it's kind of like a, a lighter orange um and i used it so let's see um so so i created a base color so i literally what i did was i went to basic and color and it's usually white and i picked my uh, base color from it uh so how i create base color is sometimes i create a new layer So I just, you know, uh, paint on my geo. I'm not worried about where I'm painting because I want the exact same base color from it. Um, from this point, what I do, I go to my color and color pick it. Simple as that. So, boom, right there. I click OK. Uh, Why well, is not working? <laughs> anyway something is uh anyway you could do it this way too so this is easy other way to do it too and uh, boom i almost got there just by doing this you can also increase the u by year boom right there uh you could do it this way too. so now i have my base color so that's how i created my base color somehow uh, it's not color picking the color and uh, so i'm going to do it both so i have my base color here 
so this will be a little bit orange so i kind of like a little bit played with the tone because this is not exactly the base color i had there and i also a little bit of gray in there um if you could see the gray at the bottom because i want to add some contrast to do that what i did was i went hit five to have orthographic view and i go to my select and i selected this and i just literally went uh, projection and through and i picked gray color and i just painted on it simple as that uh, straightforward and i also added some contrast um so what i did for usually what i do for contrast is like wherever i want to add some contrast i pick the geo i use uh, patch mode You could do it this way or equals go to the uv and you could select from here as well uh, so you could select exactly from here so it's going to select everything once i have it what i usually do is i paint black literally black so see this is where i have i want to have contrast right so i painted black on everything so what i do now i reduce my opacity to 0.3 so now you can see uh, there's a contrast between the base color and this this is a little bit darker i learned this through a photoshop technique uh, i used to paint before so I learned it you know a little bit of tricks from there so you guys learn it today so I also added some kind of like a black I don't see oh uh, I also some uh, added some black variations because I want this to pop out because I don't want everything to have uh, like a flat tone so this adds some little bit of color variation so I have 8 year and 20 year and a little bit of tonal values uh, to add some more variations, I had also light green at the top because I don't want to have the same color. And anyway, I'm planning to have some kind of like metal at the top, so I'm not worried about this part, so I put light green. And at the end, what I did, I painted decals. So this orange, you exactly saw in the reference, as you see here. Uh, so I literally took that and I added like a little bit of tonal uh, variations in my grenade and I also added some yellow decals to pop out more uh, you could see at the bottom it's really subtle it's not everywhere um, I'm putting on the, the places where it makes it looks functional and uh, I also added text details so text details are nothing but what's a model number it's a full bang or like what's a delay so you pull it out you press the button uh, you could see here uh, so you press this button and it will bang after two seconds so that's the reason and I also had some kind of um, company name and a serial number uh, this one I usually have my decals on a separate layer because it's easier to control because in substance when I export it I could export as a separate layer and I could have some grunge on top of it so it's kind of like um, it's chipped out so that's the reason I have there um, so that's it guys so I'm going to show you how I paint decals in my geo so I'm going to create a new layer so painting decals is really easy I literally use photoshop and I make a uh, photoshop so literally I made this in photoshop you could see it here so you have everything here right so sometimes when you have image manager something like that there you go. so now um so i literally go i'm going to show you a technique so if you have like this so what i usually do is you double click on it so it's going to pop up you crop and if you click on this it's gonna have a separate boom right there so now you have just a model uh, that's how I crop it and I separated this uh, in from Photoshop this other stuff I did in Photoshop it's really easier to do in Photoshop um, I think it's straightforward um, so how would I paint it so I pull it in here and I create a new layer and just paint that's it boom and make sure it's straight and everything I'm just doing a shitty job now to for a demo purpose uh, so there you go and you could reduce the opacity you know how brighter you want i think i reduced my opacity on the text details because it was too contrasty so i put a brightness levels node and uh tone it down look at that so it's brighter now it's kind of looks like a, a really tonal which goes with the color scheme so this is how it looks like this is the first color scheme i did i I did like three color schemes this is the first one this is based on the reference we modeled from uh, and the next one i did was uh from 
guess where I got this inspiration from, where I got this um, uh, color scheme from. You guessed it, it's from a motorcycle. Look at that. So here, the orange is, in this, in this uh, motorcycle, it's kind of like 60, 40. So what I want to do, I want to play with the concept. So what I did was, I want to play orange is 80 and the black is 20. So I used 80% orange and 20% black. And I also had a little bit of tonal values, like a little bit of tones. Like uh, there's a little bit of red. So red in here. Okay, there is some kind of red tones here. So I picked up the red tones and put it there. And I thought what will pop up more. Um, and the white is kind of like popped up really more. It's kind of like I invested. So it's white and orange. So I put like, you know, orange and white. So that's how it comes. It's it's really simple. Uh, this I didn't uh, put that much information. Whereas on the last one, I want to add more details and I want to use as my um, as my like personal work. You know, I want to make it really awesome. So what I did, I spent some time on it. Uh, so there you go. Uh, this looks really sci-fi because I want to make sure this looks really sci-fi. Um, so guess where my inspiration comes from? Motorcycle. Uh, so this is my inspiration. If you see, it's kind of 80% white and 20% uh, 20% black and like 10% red. Uh, so and there's also a little bit of tonal values like yellow and red. Uh, so I want to take this concept. So even I I can make the text blue because there's like a, a text in blue and there's text in black. So but I went with black. Even if you make it. Uh, blue it's gonna pop out because um, it's in this tonal value um, <clears throat> so I created a base color and I created 20% black and I added in a, you know wherever I wanted um, there's like tiny decals here and there because it's sci-fi and there's the explosion logo I uh, downloaded from internet I added the serial number this is too bright but I'm going to uh, grunge it really well in, um, in substance and there is some kind of like a logo it's a simple logo. It's it's not like too fancy. It's like simpler. And I put the model number and I say it's a uh, activate here. Make sure it pops out more. So I put like a black and yellow. So on the top you could see this. So overall, um, I I really like this color scheme. But I will show you all the three color schemes. Because like if you do uh, one one shader in substance, you could apply the same thing on. Um, other uh, other color schemes uh, as well so I'm going to show you uh, once I take so now what I'm going to do I'm going to export this textures to substance then we're going to do the shading then we're going to render out in Maya and uh, it's going to be really fun uh, I really love this process and I think you guys will uh, have fun too and hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you don't have any idea about Mori go and check some Mori beginner tutorial then come on back come back and watch it uh, once I bring it to substance you guys can watch it as well and I also have a lot of substance tutorials in my uh, YouTube channel you guys can go and watch it and if you like this tutorial please like subscribe and comment below and if you have any questions regarding this tutorial in this video uh, you could write me in the comment section I will get back to you as soon as possible I promise you that and uh, you could write me at 3d and um, let's get uh, uh, let's I, I'll see you in the next one Thanks for watching guys.